Hello everybody, I hope you're all well where right in the world today. Nadia Bajami, a multi-award winning trauma-focused hypnotherapist, mind coach, psychic medium, intuitive development teacher and mentor, certified grief educator, certified end-of-life doula, Reiki master, sharing my time between beautiful Ireland, France and Switzerland and working mostly online. Now, today in this video, I would really like to talk about psychics and mediums and mediumship in particular today. I've made a few videos in the past about the same topics, a topic very important to me. And why am I preparing this new video? Because over the years now, with my experience and looking back, I've had loads of different questions around my work as a psychic medium. And I really feel it's important for me to explain what I do exactly and what I believe and what I really think that psychics and mediums are, just to avoid any, I would say, misunderstanding, any confusion when people come for a reading. So a psychic, first of all, and we, we, we usually say psychics or mediums, a psychic medium, spiritual mediums, there's different terms. So psychic, psychics, in, in the word psyche, there is psyche, that comes from the Greek, uh, that means the soul. And a psychic reading is soul to soul reading or a human to human reading a living to living reading so you have somebody in the same room as you or you can do by email remotely in person but it's a living person booking a reading with the psychic and what do we do in a psychic reading we tune in to the person's energy the person's auric field and we give all the guidance and insight that come to us you know it could be the uh past the present the immediate future we just give what we feel tuning into their energy field and i do i go a little bit further i really work tuning into the person's soul i ask my soul to ask my client's soul what does this person need to know what sometimes i'm not even aware of this is really important you know when we have guidance and insights in a soul to soul reading a psychic reading sometimes we can tell people something we feel is not even aware of but that their soul already knows so this type of reading can be an extremely powerful reading because it gives you, as I said, guidance and insights and ideas of, you know, uh, what the next step could be, how to take the next step. Now, I have to emphasize people who know me, people who have had readings with me in the past, uh, that I am not doing fortune telling. Again, nothing wrong with people doing fortune telling, but I don't believe that we can forecast or predict the future. That's not what I do. If Believe me, if I think we could do that, <laughs> I would have spared myself a few mistakes along my own path. Um, because at the end of the day, we have a life, we need to make mistakes, we need to learn from them, and we can't know it all. So even if you go for a psychic readings, you're not going to have all the answers, you're not going to know it all. Uh, the psychic is not going to just, you know, sort your life out in, in 30 minutes. So extremely powerful reading, soul to soul, reading, uh, energy reading, okay? So that's the psychic reading. Now, a mediumship reading, I, I always say it's a psychic mediumship reading when I work because I still connect to my client who's a living person. Uh, so there is always a little bit of psychic in my readings. But a mediumship reading is primarily the reader, the medium, connecting to your loved ones in the spirit realm, in the spirit world, tuning into this higher realms, raising their vibration to meet the spirit, you know, people uh, where they are and delivering messages, but first of all, delivering proof of who we are, who, who, who we are talking to. Um, enough proof so that you know there is a real communication happening between the medium and your loved one in the spirit world. So, and after that, obviously, relaying any messages, any healing that needs to be given to yourself or for people also that you know. It's not always just for you. The spirit world always gives, you know, sometimes gives messages about other people in the family or other people you might know. So keep an open mind because it's it's not as mediums. I'm sorry to say that if I upset some people, but we cannot guarantee to speak to a specific spirit because our boss is the spirit world. But the spirit world is an amazing, clever world and they know who you need to speak to. So 99% of the time in my readings, the right person comes. I never ask my clients who they want to talk to. I don't need to know. I just ask them, is there anyone specific you would hope to connect with? That's all I need to know. Then I do the work. And as I said, 99% of the time, 
you'll have the right person coming because it's a clever will, it's your loved ones in spirit, they know who you need to talk to. But our primary work is to give you enough evidence of who we are talking to. Because I could just tell you I have Granny uh, Mary, she loved to bake and, you know, uh, she, she prepared an apple pie every Sunday. This is generic information, very easy. When you live in Ireland, loads of people are called Mary. So you have a, a big chance that one of your grandmother is called Mary. So we're not doing this. We're communicating really with the spirit world, bringing in any evidence they're giving us so that there is no doubt in the client's mind that there is a real communication with the spirit world. And then we're giving, you know, any messages. Also, as we got messages, remember, your spirit people have a new wisdom now. We have to learn in the spirit world, but they, they still are the same people. They're people. So they come with guidance and insights around what they think you should know, what they think could help you. But we're not on, you know, it's not an online catalog. We're not just there asking them, well, should I marry John, Jack, Paul? Uh, should I buy the green car? Should I buy the red fridge? And, you know, it's not just an online catalog. We have to be open-minded and accept what the spirit world is telling us. And again, believe me, if you come with an open mind, with the right energy, you're going to have an amazing experience and your loved one in the spirit will know what you need to to know not me i don't know i'm the human here uh, I'm, I'm just a, a medium like i'm just a, a tool for them to relate the messages okay i just really thought i prepared this video again because there are loads of misconceptions and i love deeply and dearly what i do and it's needed like personal battle to make sure that people understand that mediumship is something very sacred we, you know it's not something we joke about it's not something we make up uh, it's really something that is very, very important and can provide uh, a moment of healing as well. So hopefully this uh, clarifies any confusion that might be out there. And if you have any questions, feel free to connect with me, follow me on my social medias, uh, like my YouTube channel, etc. I will be delighted to answer any questions. I do offer readings online only and I also teach psychic work and mediumship work, I have some mentorship programs. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. As I said, it's something I'm very passionate about. And just one last thing before I go. Remember that a reading, special mediumship reading, is a three-way relationship. The reader, the medium, your spirit loved one in, you know, in the spirit realm, and you, the client. So if you come with the right frame of mind, the right energy, I mean, you're just going to have an even better experience. You know, we will always be able to relay information, but if you just come with an open mind, right energy, you're going to have an amazing experience. But remember, it's not a catalogue, not an online catalogue. We don't just order and get what we want. You know, your loved ones in spirit know what you need to know. Hopefully this is helpful. Take care, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.